Okay, so here we have an example of evaluating the limit. Um, again, we're doing calculus, eval calculus evaluating limits. And in this case, we would like to evaluate this limit. And uh, it's actually quite simple. All we need to do is we need to see whether we can substitute. Because if f is continuous at this point, in other words, if I am allowed to substitute x and there's no negative uh, zero in the denominator, then I can just substitute it and solve it. But this time we see that's not going to happen. Okay, why? Because negative 4 plus 4 equals 0. If that is the case, the first thing that we'll try and do, and uh, in this course, we only this is the only thing we're ever going to do, is we are going to simplify our fraction. Okay, let's see if we can do that. To simplify a fraction, all we need to do is to factorize numerator and denominator. Numerator can factorize into two brackets. Okay, remember I'm still I haven't evaluated the limit, so I must keep my limit sign just as it is. The numerator goes into two brackets. What times what gives me four, and when I add them, I get six. Well, that's easy. It's two and four. Okay, and in the denominator, we can see why x minus four would be a removable discontinuity because it can be removed from the expression okay so now this is what we're left with x plus 2 there's no more denominator which means it's impossible for this thing not to be defined at that point okay so it must be defined at that point and as soon as we can see that it is continuous at that point then we may substitute which means that this will now become negative 4 plus 2 which is equal to negative 2 and that is the limit in other words if I were to be close at negative 4 like negative 4.1 and I substitute it in here I will see that I'll get close to negative 2 if I get closer to negative 4 negative 4.01 then you'll also notice you'll get closer to negative 2 and you can get as close as negative 2 as you possibly want to in this expression by just getting close enough to negative 4 with x but you'll never get to negative 2 because you can never get to negative 4 with the x okay so this limit is negative 2 but f of negative 4 is not equal to negative 2 it's undefined